Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to install and use some of the features on Copilot. First, we'll download and install Copilot. Then we'll look at the interface. Show you how to interact with the operating system. Show you how to generate images. And then give an excellent bonus tip. Microsoft have released a new version of Windows 11, that comes equipped with the highly anticipated Copilot feature. Copilot is an AI tool that is fully integrated into the Windows operating system, which means it can modify settings and launch applications for you. To download and install Copilot, type update into your Windows search bar, and select check for updates. Here, hit the download and install button to get version 23H2 for Windows 11. You'll be given the option to get the latest updates. Select an option, and the version will download and install automatically. Once installed, hit restart now. Now we've installed version 23H2, we can make use of the new Copilot feature. To open Copilot, click the new icon in the taskbar. Or press the Windows key and C on your keyboard. Copilot will open in a pane on the right side of the window. Start by selecting a conversation style, which will depend on what kind of information you need. For example, if you need help writing a story, choose more creative. Heading down, we find the input box where you can write questions or prompts. There's a microphone to interact with Copilot without typing. And an option to upload images via links or from the device. Perhaps one downside to Copilot is that you can only enter a maximum of 2000 characters, which is significantly less than ChatGPT. Let's begin by asking Copilot what it can do. Once you've entered your prompt, hit enter on the keyboard, or click the send icon. You'll notice a button that says stop responding. Clicking this button will prevent Copilot from completing its response, allowing you to ask a different question. When we look at Copilot's response, it tells us that Copilot is a new tool for Windows that can answer questions. Change settings, launch applications, make images, and summarize emails and web pages. Let's head back to the input box and test how Copilot can interact with the operating system. First, let's ask it to open the control panel. Whenever you ask Copilot to take an action, you'll be prompted to confirm the action. To continue, hit yes. And now control panel has successfully opened. You can also ask Copilot to change the settings, such as turning on Bluetooth, or adjusting sound. We'll ask Copilot to turn on Bluetooth. Again, hit yes to confirm, and Copilot will turn Bluetooth on for you. The ability to change system settings via text prompts is a huge upgrade to Windows, but there's more to Copilot than system interactions. You can also create images from text prompts, using OpenAI's DAL-E image generator. Simply type in the description of whatever image you want Copilot to make, and hit enter. After a few moments, you'll be given four variations of the image you asked Copilot to make. Simply click any of the images to share or download. You could also add an image from the web or your device, and then ask Copilot to create an image based on the picture you uploaded. The bonus tip for this video includes launching an app directly from Copilot. To do that, type Launch Excel, or whatever app you want to launch. And then hit Yes to confirm. Now we've launched Excel, let's make a new workbook. Then head back to Copilot. We're going to ask Copilot to create a table containing the warmest countries in the world. You'll need to wait a moment for Copilot to grab the data and compile it into a table. But once Copilot has finished responding, we can select, right-click, and copy the data. Now head over to Excel and press Ctrl and V to paste the data into the workbook. This is just one example of how Copilot can boost efficiency while working on Windows, or with Microsoft 365 applications. However, the information produced by Copilot can sometimes be inaccurate, and should not be relied upon when precise information is required. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching.
remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.